Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you how to improve the camera quality of the LG Google Nexus 5 phone. Now, uh, before I continue any further, I just want to say that all credits goes to uh, Jishnu Sir on XDA Developers Forum. Um, what I'm going to do is put a link to this forum page in the video, de video description. Just simply expand the video description and you'll find a link to this page. On this page, um, what you can do is log in, hit the thanks button for all the developers hard work. Better than it, you should donate to them. Okay, uh, furthermore, if you have any technical questions, please do not ask me because I'm not a developer. Ask for help in this forum page. And most importantly, this is where you're going to download the necessary file uh, to fix the camera. Now, apparently, from what I've been reading, um, the hardware camera on the phone, it is what it is. It can't be changed, obviously. However, uh, due to a software fix, you can actually improve the audio and video recording, um, you know, just by flashing the zip file. So obviously before you can actually attempt anything in this video, uh, you must have a custom recovery installed and with that I suggest you unlock the bootloader and root, you might as well just do it all in one go. In fact I have a video explaining how to do that, it's very very easy. I'll put a link to that video on how to get a custom recovery, unlock the bootloader and root, also in the video description. You must have a custom recovery to make this work, right? Okay. Furthermore, um, by attempting to follow instructions in this video, you could permanently damage your device. If that is the case, I take no responsibility, so you follow instructions in this video at your own risk. Right, so it's, just, it's most likely a software fix, according to the developer. Um, so as you can see on this forum page, where I said you can download it, there's actually a, a change log here. If you go all the way down, currently the latest version is 1.4, but it's currently in testing. So I, I chose to ignore this. I'm going to download 1.3 because it's most likely a bit more stable. So read the change log uh, for the newest version, depending on when you're watching this video. Go down just a bit. Uh, I'm going to click this version. You can download whatever one you want. I want 1.3, so I click it, download it. Um, I connect the phone to my computer with a USB cord. And that zip file, you are not going to extract it when you download it. Just simply copy and paste it into the root directory of your phone, as I have done here. And um, you should be ready to flash, so let's continue there. Alright, so before we continue actually the flashing process, I just want to mention that um, what I'm going to do is put two links in the video description. Uh, the first downloadable link will be a video file I recorded with the Nexus 5. You guys can download the original video file, it's completely unaltered, just upload it straight to the net, download it, put it on your computer, TV, whatever, see the quality. Then I'm going to upload um, another video, the second downloadable file, um, in which I show you guys uh, a video recorded after this modification. Okay, so you guys can see, maybe compare the uh, video quality for yourself. Actually, I'll just put them both under one link. Um, it, it'll be easier for you guys. I'll just name them before and after. Uh, so my my personal preference on how to boot into recovery mode is to download and install an app called Quick Boot. Um, I'll put a link to this app in the video description. I just open it up. Uh, I'm going to reboot into recovery, so I'm just going to select recovery. Um, if you're using it for the first time, it might ask you for root access, just grant it and um, it'll boot directly into recovery. You don't have to press any button combinations while starting up the phone. As you can see, I have TeamWin Recovery Project. Uh, so what you want to do first is obviously back up your phone. Because in case this modification does screw up something, you want to be able to restore your phone exactly the way it was before uh, attempting this um, modification. So what I suggest you do is hit backup and uh, back up whatever selected files and then we'll continue from there. Okay, so I just backed up my system. So what I'm gonna do now is just press the back button here in the corner, uh, back again. Now in case you do wanna restore what you just backed up in the future, in case you don't like what the mo camera modification did, just hit restore and then find the backup you did um, on the on your, your, with the current date and just restore it, easy, right? But, uh, so I'm done backing up, but what I'm gonna do now is install the camera modification. So what I'm gonna do is hit install and you can see your um, uh, your well, internal memory directory. This is the root directory, so you're going to go all the way down, look for your zip file. Uh, here it is for me at the bottom. Tap it. Uh, swipe to confirm flash. It's flashed. It says successful. And what you do now is just simply hit reboot system. And that's pretty much it. It's done. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is, um, again, you can download a video file, which I recorded with this uh, modification. But what I'm going to do now is also provide a very quick sample clip in this video you're watching right now. So uh, let me go aside and uh, do that right now. Okay, so this clip you're seeing right now um, is the exact same clip I'll be uploading to the net and you guys can just download it. Um, you guys can see for yourself what you think about the quality. 
focus time seems to be a bit faster as a developer claimed um, so far focus seems a lot faster than before and uh, seems okay so far so it's set to improve audio and video recording uh, so playback should be a lot better yeah focus time is definitely a lot better for sure uh, there was a little snag just a few seconds ago but well, it seems to be adjusting a lot better than before so um, yeah indeed I can notice a difference but uh, again you guys should just do it yourself and see for yourself what you guys think it's one of those things you should just try on your own and uh, I, I do hope this was helpful to you guys remember hit the thanks button for the developer and uh, be sure to donate for all their hard work and continuous hard work as I mentioned uh, you can always just flash a newer version of the camera modification um, in case they do update in the future depending on when you watch this video you can always just keep flashing the new version they said yeah focus is way better anyway I'm gonna leave it at that and I hope you guys found this video useful if you did be sure to check out my Facebook Google Plus Twitter links in the video description hit the like button it does help subscribe and thanks for watching